Hey guys, if you are trying to figure out what this whole concept about a sales funnel is, you're gonna wanna actually take a look at what I'm about to show you guys today, um, because I'm gonna walk you guys through what a digital sales funnel is and how you can use yours in a business today. All right, so let's just take a look at the board right over here beside what I've got over here. And in my previous video, if you haven't seen this yet, um, please take a look at that one because that's gonna make some more sense when I talk about a funnel. This is gonna guide you along, but this is gonna kind of show you how you create a digital funnel online for your clients to go through from step to step. So at the top of the funnel, which we talked about the awareness, this is where you get a traffic source, which is down here. You choose a traffic source that can get you customers. These traffic sources, as cool as they are, you don't own them. Like you don't own, I showed Facebook, Google, you don't own the podcast platform, neither will you necessarily own the web. This is supposed to be my web or any other out external traffic sources. These are just sources that help you get people to come through to you, right? What you do own is when people show up on your website. So step number one, you want to create awareness to get people to go from the web over to your website, whether it's a landing page or the homepage on your website, because that's like them entering into your store in the world, in the world of an online world. Then, you know, once you get into your store, you're going to have a certain number of people that are going to take the next step, which is this is your shopping cart. So some people are going to come to show intent to buy. Now, where this, the, the genius comes in with using digital marketing is when you know that you have a traffic source. So you understand what these numbers are. You understand that, hey, I need to get 100 people over from an outside source to my website. And out of that, I'll get about 3% of them that will go across to my add to cart and out of my add to cart, I'll have maybe 50% of them um, actually check out and actually become a customer. Then I can reverse engineer those numbers and know exactly how many people I need to send to my homepage for me to get some conversions and hit what my goal is. Now there's another little secret in here. It's called retargeting. You may have heard this term before, but retargeting is basically the ability to be able to retarget people who visited your website. Now we have been able to see as much as 10 times the ROI when we use a good retargeting campaign because the reality is when I said, you know, 97% of people will bounce, that's an, that's an actual fact, right? There's online about 97% of people that actually go to a landing page will bounce for various reasons. So what we do is we use something called retargeting where we have a tracking on the landing page that we send customers to. And if they come to your page and they bounce off, we're going to retarget them on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google, and all the other platforms out there. So we send them back to your website, reminding them, Hey, we know you're looking for our product. We know you visited our website and you left for some reason. Let's get you back, right? If they come back to this page and then they don't move through again, what we're going to do is we're going to give them what's called a lead magnet right? We're going to incentivize them to, okay, you might not want to buy from us today, but at least leave us your name and number. So that way we can continue letting you know about some value that we can give you about that product or service you're looking for. Then once we get them into a list, we can start emailing them, right? Then we will have some of them that might decide to jump over now to the add to cart. When they come to the add to cart page, what we're going to do again, we're going to retarget again, right? This time we're going to start retargeting them with different offers, right? First, we're going to try and send them back to the add to cart. If they don't, we're going to give them some kind of a discount, right? Well, actually, we're going to start with showing them our reviews, why we are great, why they should choose us because we want to build that trust. If they don't respond to trust, then we're going to start giving them some scarcity, right? We might give them a limited time offer. And if that doesn't work, then we want to make it, maybe give them a discount, right? Because in my opinion, it's better to give them a 50% discount than not get anything at all, depending on if your business can handle it. All right. So definitely give them some kind of retargeting option for them to come back to your checkout page. And then last but not least, once you finally get them over to the thank you page, we want to get them on some, some kind of a, a mailing list, right? Because once they've purchased from you once, right, it becomes people tend to want to keep buying from you. Just think of how many stores that you go to, you buy once and you keep buying over and over and over because then it'll be a lot cheaper to get these people to buy from you again by just email marketing them rather than trying to pay for them to come from Google or any of these other platforms. Hopefully this is helpful. If this was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit like if you liked it and don't forget to share it with any of your friends.